Hi, my name is Ricardo Sama. I am a computational linguist. I work in a finance tech firm. I've worked in the past for the Intel Corporation on a speech recognition device. And so I'm all about the infotainment car tech space that is emerging and has been for the past 10 years. So let me let me let me show you around in in my car, which is a Mercedes-Benz GLA, and it's dope. It's cool. Um, and I'm driving. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. But the point is that I can speak with a little bit of uh, certainty about certain topics. So let me get right to it. Now, what I want you to see is what happens when I give it a command uh, like, hey, Mercedes. In order to use online functions of the voice system, please check your Mercedes me settings. So let's try that one more time. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Can you tell me what time it is? It is 7.48 a.m. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Can you tell me where I am? Talking about them. All right, let's try that one more time. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Can you tell me where I am? To use online functions of the voice system, please check your Mercedes Me settings. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you turn on the air conditioning? Okay, I'm activating the air conditioning. And it did it. So there are great things about it. There are bad things about it. Where it fails, it just fails utterly and awkwardly. Uh, as you saw previously, when you ask it for something that it didn't quite understand, it just defaults into whatever media it thinks it should arbitrarily. For instance, it just turned the radio on. And I think that's just a matter of building out the functionality as opposed to throwing out the entire concept of speaking to your car. It would be a very great thing if you could speak to your car 100% of the time, even for turning it on. But the risk reward ratio has to be just right because of a safety concern, obviously, and the error rate on these speech recognition tools is just too high. So that's what I have experienced personally in my vehicle, which I'm familiar with. So you can type out, uh, excuse me, you can factor out the error rate from, from the user end.